Hello, ladies, gents, and avatars of terror destroying Japanese towns. When I was a child, two or three times we went on vacation to a neighbor island. I grew up in the Canary Islands, and the neighbor islands, you can go there through boat or, or plane, and they are like a tourist destination for the most part. We would go to the neighbor island, and an arcade in this neighbor island, it would have a game and it was the only place where I could find this game it, this place was my hallowed ground and that game was Rampage I would spend as many quarters as my father would allow I would spend as much time as I could spend in that location before we could we had to leave for the next destination in our vacation and I would be sad every time and I would look forward to being able to play that game again that I only found in that place. This game, Terror of the Hemosaurus, is Rampage Reloaded. Let's jump into the, the story mode, into the mission that I am currently in. It's in the middle of the campaign. The campaign is just an excuse to send you on a Rampage of Terror. This is the stage five. The Cult of the Holy Lizard, after I have been defrosted from the polar caps due to the terrible, terrible threat of climate change and rampant capitalism. Oh, terrible threat. A terrible threat, I say. It has directed me this cult of the Holy Lizard to murder people because obviously the more people you murder, the less people will suffer when the catastrophe comes. It's perfectly logical, I think. So the shepherd of the Holy Lizard, he says, be careful. Our disciples have deserved increased police presence in this location. If you find yourself low on health, don't forget to munch on some people. Kill a minimum of 200 humans and destroy at least 75% of the town. Yes, I shall start with you. Oh. <laughs> you are a kaiju. You rampage through town, eating humans, punching their houses, destroying their buildings. This is a beautiful, lovely game. You can grab people out of the windows and just chuck them. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? Video games are so amazing that they allow me to do something like that. Climb onto a building and butt slam its, its foundations until it's obliterated. Then I go down and then an honest, good policeman that is trying to stop me with his handgun, I'm going to eat him. I'm going to... Pierce his spleen with my fangs, and I will munch and munch and munch until I have digested everything. Too many humans here. Let me kick them out of the way. Kick them. Kick them into the air. These damn people keep getting in my way. No more civilians. Only Hemosaurus. We just continue punching. Punching this damn slug burger. Junk food is bad for you. I eat only prime meat. Delicious blue meat, delicious green meat. Look at that, that was ginger meat. That was delicious. Just those poor bastards that were screaming at their window, a giant lizard just drop kicked them. Is there a more epic way to go? If I ever die, that's still in, in question whether I will or not. There was a differently able guy over there and uh, he's no longer able to continue breathing. Uh, let me just punch the side of this building real quick so that it collapses against the other building and creates a beautiful cascade of destruction. I, will, I would appreciate it a lot. This perhaps Punching the building is perhaps the slowest way of destroying it. But damn it, sure is satisfying. Let me uh, find this this helicopter real quick. I don't know. Helicopter? A helicopter! Yep. Climb onto it! Climb onto it! Hushah! I got you, bitch! Got you, bitch! I'll just kick you out of the air. <laughs> Alright, alright. This is, this is taking too long, this enormously stupid thing. Look at boo 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 boo! Oh, look at all those dwellings. All those poor landlords that just lost their passive income. Look! I'm making a, doing a favor to this guy whom I just kicked out of his window. If. I destroy his dwelling, there is no way 
that he will have to owe rent at the end of the month. I am just the liberator. I am just ending capitalism in the most hilarious way possible. I just continue kicking cars into helicopters. Terror of the Hemisaurus will allow you to do, to do that. This, obviously, like, I don't take sponsor videos, but if I would be sponsored, damn it, I would take Terror of the Hemisaurus money because I would totally play the crap out of this game from start to end. Anyway, we'll continue to destroy this damn town. This is not the entirety of the gameplay. On stage 5, you may see a gauge under my health bar. That is my special ability bar. For sure! <laughs> he got destroyed. He got completely wrecked by the blades of that helicopter. It's all going down! Boom, 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 boom. So many delicious civilians. And now I eat the entrails of the civilians. Just kick this nonsense out of, the, out of the way. Continue munching of all these people. There's a lot more policemen than uh, I'm accustomed to. <laughs> Oh, they fly! It's amazing! Just grab you. And off you go. What a wonderful... Like I said, man, I just... I would love for this to be the way I am. So, I honestly am spreading joy wherever I go. It's like, yeah, yeah, this guy's screaming in the, in the window. Finally, an interesting way to embrace death. Here I thought that I was just going to die from cancer like 90% of everybody around me. I know! I get to be eaten by a giant green lizard. Truly a joyous occasion if there ever was one. You just kick the police, kick them all. I'm out of my way. I don't know if you can tell. Like, this is really my kind of game. <laughs> it's not just the nostalgia. Like this, I saw this on Steam. And it was an insta-buy just on the nostalgia value. But I would have absolutely tried it out if I had no idea about Rampage. And I had that in those incredible memories of rampaging through a massive metropolis with my giant monkey. I'm a little sad that there's no monkey in this one. In the character selection, you saw there was four characters. One of them is a freaking sloth. I haven't tried it yet. I just wanted to try out the lizard to go begin with. But I had to... <laughs> it's like a piñata. It's a police piñata. I just continue punching you. This damn law enforcement trying to serve and protect. Let me sever your spine. As I project you into the stratosphere. Just punch your damn helicopter. Out of the sky! I have received an achievement for my incredible accomplishments! Continue destroying the crap out of this nonsense. There's a special ability that I have not unlocked yet in the story mode. Uh, also, you may have been paying attention at the start. You get to choose either the story mode that we're playing right now, stage number five. There's also like endless destruction mode you just go through stages destroying them and it's kind of randomized you just punch this idiots out of the out of the dumbass windows that guy was really trying hard to get back into an indoor area but there's no escape from the Hemosaurus Gedusht. are we 60% uh, destruction to the 75% that we are aiming for. So a few more butt slams should do it. This building is fantastic for our purposes. <laughs> it's real this is a game. It's so good, I would say, for kids. And it also makes you feel like a little kid. It's so good. Just some mindless good fun of munching on sprites because it's so cartoony right it's it's I, I, I really into the the sprite art style it's very good art style uh, it's it's perfect for the sensibilities on display if these were realistic people like uh in prototype it would also be hilarious i had a great time in a game like prototype just 
murdering people, but th there was something a little bit more sinister about it. You couldn't help but feel a little psychopathic playing pro Prototype. You play Terra of the Hemosaurus, and it's just pure joy. Oh, just bringing down these damn bu buildings. 80% okay, destruction. Let's, <laughs> let's kick people to victory. You can even direct the kick. I am pointing up, and they fly up into the air. I point down, I point forward, and they go forward. Amazing, isn't it? You just uh, destroy this one. I mean, I have achieved my goal. I'm still gonna destroy the crap out of this damn building. What do you think? Oh, because you're the last building standing, you are going to be able to rise the crap out of your prices? Disgusting garbage person, take advantage of a crisis and then charge $10,000 for rent? No, you will not be allowed. Actually, let me leave this last building standing because uh, I may have purchased uh, some mistakes and I am uh, ready to exit the stage. And now I will purchase this building and I will be uh, the most successful, ruthless landlord in the land. All right, I have succeeded with my incredible power as the Hemosaurus. That's the extent of it. Then Whit Fokker will tell you that. Welcome back to the ongoing coverage of the giant monster attack. The story mode has a story in which it's it's all a big satire, a parody, like everything's exaggerated. We understand folks at home are starting to become frightening. Frightened, for the sake. Please rest assured, despite all the grisly footage, there's no reason to panic. It is safe to go outside and keep spending your money. Allow me to share with you some facts that will put your mind at ease. If you are watching this broadcast, then you have not been killed by the monster. <laughs> Wait, you silly son of a gun. Another interesting fact, a disproportionate number of the victims come from low-income neighborhoods, but that is precisely what makes this country so great. If you work hard, you too can live in a nice neighborhood and safe from the terror of the monster. That is an excellent point, Wit. If anything, the monster is incentivizing people to succeed. Me, personally, I'm excited for all the economic growth and innovation that this so-called crisis will create. This could be the next trillion dollar industry. Well, there you have it, folks. You shouldn't be panicking. If anything, people ought to be celebrating, going out, spending their money. Sorry to interrupt you, Trixie, but I am getting some late-breaking information regarding the monster. Apparently, the monster has changed direction and is now headed towards Midtown Manhattan. Well, uh, that is where we are broadcasting from. Oh, fuck. Amazing. Oh, yeah, the bourgeoisie needs to be eradicated. I am the massive lizard. I care so much about socio-political issues. I will... Look, I am an equal opportunity destroyer. Low income, high pain, high rises. I don't give a crap. It's all meat. Oh, yeah, the shipper of the holy lizard number two. Because, you know, number one uh, was met with holy digestion. This is the headquarters of the Brain Hamper Beat. They are the world's leading publisher of science denialism and conspiracy theories. Their goal is to manipulate us, misdirect blame, and weaken our faculties in order to serve the interests of the few. It's time to unleash the terror of your ultimate ability upon them. In order to unlock your ultimate ability, fill the terror cage by causing death and destruction. Press and hold W to unleash the ultimate ability. You will have to figure out how it works. There's the value of figuring something out for yourself. We can't walk you through everything. Once unlocked, you should be able to destroy the brain hamper. Media quarters. Holy digestion for you! Let me just destroy all this nonsense. Uh, I was going to go into pure destruction mode, but I didn't realize that the the special ability would be unlocked in this particular stage. And it's just an extra button to press. You get enough. I think we get enough food. Delicious food. And this is an excellent building. Look at this guy with all the money. Wonder how much uh, that that will uh, improve the value of my guts. Seems like this enormous building is very well built. We're gonna have to do a double super butt press to destroy it. Actually, it's not enough. It's time to unleash the fury. Unleash the fury? Unleash the fury? Please? I was ready to unleash the fury? No? No? I, I have... Oh, I think I need to... For story purposes, I need to completely fill up my gauge. 
So let me just very slowly eat some more window people. It's delicious. I don't like this one though. Let me just kick him. Let me just chuck him into the air. This guy with a hat. He looks like an excellent meal. Oh yeah, he just lost his shit. Pretty good uh, special ability. I am um, I'm done with it. <laughs> good times. Good times in Good times in Midtown Manhattan. We showed all those people that had different opinions than me what is worth and they just get to die. That's just the way it is. What do you want me to do? What's going on here? What was the objective again? You're supposed to kill people, I see. This bonus stage is in the middle. Anyway, that is the extent of Terror of, Terror of the Hemisaurs. There are unlocks. You know, you, you got a few achievements and you can you can uh, unlock a few, uh, a few things. Look at all these different objectives. You can get to spawn certain things. You know, there's a whole bunch of unlocks that you can do. Uh, so the story mode is not the only thing that you get you are super that you can get through before we're done let me just quit the menu quickly jump with let's go with the slot might as well endless destruction mode it just sends you places it gives you a threat level destroy the level to a certain threshold and then uh, redo or right, apparently the clocks Sloth has four pips of special ability. Do I maybe stop time? Is that how it works? Oh, lo, 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 lo. Yeah, time slows. Uh, he, he unleashes destruction and time slows. That's pretty damn awesome. Look at all these four damn bastards. Let me just climb real quick onto this place. Unleash incredible destruction. Blow, 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 blow. There's something deeply satisfying about a giant fat ass sloth rampaging. Rampaging through a town. How dare you feel? How dare you? Trying to shoot me dead. Kick the car into the building. Chuck some people into the air. Hitch a ride. Take me, take me to the stars. Oh man, it does disappear when you go to the edge of the edit edge of the screen. Oh man, well that was a very stupid helicopter driver, helicopter pilot. Come, come down here, come here. Oh yeah, going in, up into the air will not save you. Punch, eat, eat it. <laughs> Delicious reporter. Anyway. Anyway, I'm having too much uh, of a good of a wheel of the time. Let me just cut it right here. This has been Terror of the Hemosaurus. It is, I think, pretty cheap right now on Steam. I think I'm pretty sure I bought it for like 11 bucks. Uh, it's like a release sale on Steam or something like that. Uh, either way, I would have bought it for any price, reasonable price. Just on the nostalgia value. Absolutely love this type of game. Rampage games of any sort. I mentioned Prototype earlier. I also had such a great time. Any game that allows you to rampage through a town and just destroy polygons. It's just such a great time. And I freaking love this type, this type of nonsense. Extra points for being able to just kick people into the stratosphere. What's not to love? What's not to love? I leave you with this rampant destruction. Maybe you have seen something that you enjoy. Give the game some love. It's freaking hilarious. See you guys in whatever comes next. <laughs>